and services. Uh, first you'll see the name and logo of the corporation that owns this station. Obviously this one's owned by the Calvary Navy. We have the inner captain's quarters button. Obviously it goes to where you can walk around and all that fun stuff. We have uh, down here the station services. Uh, we have the LP store here because this is an MPC controlled station. We can, uh, if we have loyalty points with the Caldera Navy, we can trade in loyalty points, disc, and different items. Mostly, cr mostly dog Imperial dog tags from the Galiente ships. We can trade them in to get special faction items. Of course, this character has no loyalty points because he doesn't do missions. Have insurance. Of course, that's covered uh, pretty well in detail with the tutorial, so just wanted to cover that. The militia. If you're into faction warfare, uh, I don't do much of that, so I'll save that for another time. Bounty office. Bounties are kind of a joke right now, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Uh, science and industry. Uh, this tab shows up when you have access to research and manufacturing slots. This is an assembly plant slot. As you can see here, I'm docked in G-4, Moon 4, Caldera Navy assembly plant, which is also the central trade hub of the EU universe. So we have manufacturing here on site. Of course we have uh, fitting, the fitting window, which we can use to fit things on our ship. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot on this one. Uh, of course, the shortcut for the market, uh, the reprocessing plant. Uh, most stations in high sec have reprocessing. You can refine loot drops or what have mine asteroid ore, what have you. Uh, the repair shop, if your ship or modules have taken damage, you can repair them. Recustomization is similar to the mirror in the captain's quarters. Pretty basic. Uh, the Noble Exchange allows you to buy new clothing with Aurum. It's not really that important. Uh, we have the guest list. Anyone docked in the station will show up in this list. Of course, I'm in a major, I'm in the trade hub for Eve, so this list is huge. And the station. doesn't have agents, I guess. But if there were any agents, they would be displayed here. Corporation offices. I know this, you know, I was going to say, I know this one has. They all have offices here. I imagine these offices are pretty expensive. Good God. Office rental fee seven hundred eighty six million fisk for thirty days. Okay, that's the single most expensive office I've ever seen in ISA. That is insane. Now down here at the bottom uh, you can see the option to rent office. This character is in an alt corporation of mine and it does have the roles to be able to rent an office, that's why I see it. I don't have an office in this station, so I can't open a corp hangar. And then I have deliveries. If I bought anything or sold anything or contracted anything on behalf of the corporation, and you have the appropriate roles, you'll see that option here. They just show up in a special little items hangar for your corporation. Alright, that covers that side go ahead and cover the Neocom briefly. Of course you see your photo, click it, you can open up your character sheet, see all the fun stuff associated with that. Uh, the bar down here at the bottom, you can open your training queue. This training queue is paused because this is a second character on an account. You can only train one character at a time. Of course the chat, which just brings up the what's already shown here, my old corp, which no one else is on in, and local, which as you can 
can see 2,000 people. Like I said, this is the trade hub. Now that we have people in places, you can look through your bookmarks. Of course, I have corporation bookmarks as well as personal ones. Agents. Of course, I only have Mora. Now, then you have any contacts. This is where you would list all your any contacts you make so they can keep track of your friends. Pretty nice. Of course, email. Surprise, surprise, I don't have any email. See, then you have bidding window again, market, science and industry. You cover your uh, manufacturing research and any planets you control. The map. Yeah. All those red dots out there. Unsecured space. And you can type in, you can search for star systems, make it a little easier to navigate. We'll go perennial favorite, Amar. Right click it, set the destination. You know, anytime you ever want, it's like, hey, we're here. You can find them here in the, in the system. Now, I have like no assets because this is a brand new character. So, but any any items you have in a station in all of New Eden, you can find them here. Pretty handy. I know plenty of people who have tons of space junk. Then we have a wallet. Of course, your money. This character did have a whole lot of it. <coughs> the journal. I have no missions, of course, because I'm not really running this guy. But you have any missions you have offered or accepted will show up here as you acquire loyalty points for completing missions for organizations like the Caldari Navy, Federation Navy, etc. They'll be displayed here. So it's a good way to keep a running total. Uh, research. If you had research agents, which I covered in the first tutorial, they would be listed as well as the points you acquired would be here. Uh, then you have other areas. Expeditions, which would be escalations. Now they're very rare and new players won't encounter them. Uh, contracts. New players won't really deal with too much with the contract system, although I am going to cover it a little more detail a little later. Planetary launches. If you don't have access to a spaceport on your planets, uh, you will actually receive, you'll actually launch a rocket and it'll be in orbit in space, and this allows you to hone in on those beacons and pick up your stuff without having to deal with the customs office. Of course, the Epic Journal. This is the very, very basic uh, tutorial, the epic arc, from the very, very, very beginning. Any, there are epic mission arcs, uh, the Sisters of Eve arc in Arnon is where a lot of new people get started. It's a pretty decent arc if you can get to it. Then we have the incursions. Now this lists all of the Sancha incursions in New Eden. It's a constellation wide. If you're in a constellation listed in this list, or if you notice some weird uh, extra stuff down here, don't mine in those systems. You probably want to stay away because those Sancha pirates, they're on something, man. They're, they're pretty tough. They'll tear you to pieces. Alright, and then we have, of course, help. Pretty basic stuff petitions, 
the Eaglepedia. You can pull up all of your career agents if you've been assigned them yet. As you can see, these are mine. I've never visited them. I probably never will. All right. Then we have the bottom three. These three are are only shown in stations. Now the first is the items hanger. This one's empty, but it would anything you would have as far as loose items that aren't in a sh that aren't a ship and aren't fitted to a ship or in its cargo bay. It would be here. Our head, our, our one unit of tritanium. I have a unit of tritanium in my items hanger. Now you can see I, I double clicked just the ship to pull up the cargo bay on the ship. Then we have the ship's screen. Of course I am in a noob ship. You can right click, get information on it, view the contents, open the cargo hold, open the drone bay if it has one. Click leave ship and it puts you in your capsule. You can strip the fittings from the ship and take all the modules off. As you can see, it put them in the items hanger. You can then repackage the ship, which takes everything out of the cargo hold and makes the ship really, really small. This is how you would transport a ship within another ship, primarily. Makes it much, much easier to transport when it's packaged. And any ships you get from the market like this will be packaged. And you say, okay, well, I have a new ship. How do I get in it? Right click your new ship, hit assemble ship. Right click it again, choose make active. You should hop in it, as I did there with mine. And you can go to the fitting screen. your stuff on it. And you are good to go. Alright, and then of course the last button there is undock. Pretty obvious it would undock me. And at the very bottom we have the time. Of course this is the GMT Eve time. So you have to for where you are in the world in relation to this. You click on it, open the calendar. Now initially you'll only see CCP events, unless your corporation or alliance, you'll, you add them there. We don't, I particularly don't use it, but that's just me. Alright, and that should pretty much cover the station interface. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.